Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna show you um, really a, a hidden gem just on the west side of Fort Worth. So this is Lost Creek Estates. Um, it's an, a neighborhood of a little over 500 homes. So, I mean, it's good size, but it's not huge. And something I actually learned about it uh, today, actually, was that there was a golf course out here. So Lost Creek Golf Club, you'll see uh, a fairway right over here. Um, now it's nice green space, but the golf club actually closed down in 2018, um, but it left a nice benefit. So there's no HOA over here. Um, there's no mandatory HOA. There's a voluntary one. It's like a hundred bucks a year. Um, but now you have a lot of green space. You have all the old cart paths. You know, now you can call them jogging paths. Um, and so this, all these fairways are now just green space. There's a lot of homes that back up to them. I'll be able to point them out um, in a little bit as we drive past. There's a pond over here in a little bit. We'll drive past the old clubhouse. And um, it's just a really neat, secluded little neighborhood. There's one entrance in, one entrance out, and lots of, of courts and cul-de-sacs in the neighborhood. So, yeah, you can see those homes on the right back up to a fairway. We're coming up to kind of this entrance of, you actually see the golf club sign the old uh, clubhouse over there to the left and then as we go over here you're going to see just a big uh, fairway over here on the right side as well so these homes really are really neat um, just some information about the neighborhood like i said a little over 500 homes you've got an average lot size of about 0.3 acres and most of these homes were built between the mid 80s and the early 2000s. Now there's some were built in the 70s, there's a couple. And then I'm actually gonna drive you through a section of the neighborhood that has homes that were built um, after the 2008 crash. So these homes are all probably about 10-ish years old max. Um, I saw some homes that were built as recently as 2018 and um, but I think they kind of started building around 2012, 2013. So you've got these nice homes over here and you've got another fairway and uh, golf cart path over here. So we're going to cut through here and one of the, you know, some people will love it. Some people will have strong opinions against it, but this is a pretty hilly area. So you get homes with a lot of character, um, a lot of, you mean that, that home way up there, it looks like a like a burn watchtower in a, in a forest, right? But you've got these homes built on the hill, you've got retaining walls. And we're gonna keep going this way. So we're gonna take you to the back, one of the back corners of the neighborhood where, like I said, all the newer homes are built. And one thing I do love about this neighborhood especially is the side entry most of these are more like a, a swing entry so it's kind of like a, a side entry but pushed forward as opposed to like a rear entry or a true side entry so you've got a couple of you got some unique properties too you kind of got this like mid-century modern style right here the flat roof the, the the rooftop deck over here then you've got kind of this like early 2000s style and up here straight ahead you're going to see these newer homes that are all built in the you know the 20 teens like i said probably most of them between 2013 and 2018 and so this street we're on or coming up on knoll ridge this is the the back edge of the neighborhood um on the west side so this is just uh, it may be privately owned land behind the neighborhood over here so if, it's still green space. Uh, it's not an old fairway, but it's green space. You've still got some infrastructure improvements. I wonder um, if some of this could be like um, fiber optics or something going into the neighborhood. So currently I know that AT&T is the primary internet provider out here. It is not fiber optic. It's actually a, it's the same speed I have in my, my, my neighborhood, about 75 megabytes but some of that equipment I see looks like it could be uh, infrastructure upgrades. 
So over here on the left, you're going to see some like, you know, Spanish style homes. You've got the tile roofs. On the other side of these homes is, a, is a, another fairway. Can't tell you the, the whole number. Um, but one other really cool thing. So, so going back to the actual homes and home ownership over here. So when I ran the numbers, and this is going to be a little bit low, but 75% um, or more of this neighborhood is owner occupied. Um, I was able to pull uh, homestead exemption filings. So that number is probably a little bit low. Some people forget to file. And then also sometimes the property has a homestead, but it doesn't show in like my tax system. So I would be willing to guess 80 to 85% of this neighborhood is owner occupied and 15 to 20% max is going to be uh, renters. Uh, and part of that is because of the price point. So we get to the price price point is the cheapest home that I could find that sold in this neighborhood in the last six months was $345,000. So the very bottom of this neighborhood is already going to be your upper level entry, uh, entry kind of starter home. And the most expensive I could find that sold in the last six months was almost $800,000. So there's a wide range of homes, and part of that's because of the, the range of sizes. Um, there are homes as small as 1,400 square feet out here, and there are homes from tax records. Best I could tell, the largest was about 5,500 square feet. Um, and putting the average average home of about is about 2,800 square feet out here. So good size homes, good size lots. Um, and now I know I was talking about sales prices, but the average price per square foot is about $180 per square foot out here. Um, let's see, what else am I missing? So we're actually, we're, we're cutting across. So this is Lost Creek Boulevard. We're cutting back across the neighborhood. This is the main street in. If you look over here to the left, you can see another fairway. That's kind of the, one of the ones I pointed out earlier. And I want to take you to a really pretty street on the, the back side um, the other back side, so the east side of the neighborhood on the back edge, um, really pretty street you're going to find. I mean, really, this whole neighborhood is just awesome. I've, I've looked at properties. I actually briefly considered buying one myself over here. Um, but the, the one downside that I have for this neighborhood is that the mailing address, the Google address, everything you see is going to say Alito. But unfortunately, this is actually serviced by Fort Worth. So this is also Fort Worth ISD. So actually, before we go, before we turn, right up here, you're going to see Lost Creek Hollow. That's actually a, a tiny separate subdivision. It's like one long street. I kind of included that one in all these numbers because it's, it's a part of Lost Creek. It's just a, a, an additional addition. And so North Point Court, this is that street we're about to turn onto that I think is just awesome. See the fairways over here? Um, these were probably both, uh, at least one of these was probably a tee-off box up here. And then we're going to take a look at this street. But you got so, some really great tr um, street overhang on these trees. It looks like you're in a movie scene. Um, so the last little bit about this, this neighborhood one, I said it's Fort Worth ISD. It's Fort Worth Utilities, which is fine. Um, and you're really, you know, one of the great things is you're really only 15 minutes from downtown Fort Worth, um, just barely outside the Fort Worth city limits. Um, it's got a lot to offer. Really great location, easy access to the highway, and uh, it actually has slightly cheaper property taxes than Fort Worth. It's about 2.6% um, is your property tax rate, so... Uh, you know, thanks for chiming in. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in uh, looking for a home out here or really anything in Tarrant County, especially west of Fort Worth is really my specialty, then um, give me a shout. You can message me. You can find me at modelrealtytx.com. Uh, you got 817-783-9815. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Um, I'd love to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.